physically it, it affects you, but you don't care. You want to get that third out before the team has tied the game. And three outs are easy to get over the course of the game, but the last three outs can get a little bit tense. And, yeah. Get that, get those three outs, and then game over. Brian McCann's going to make him throw a strike, and he does. Brian singled his last time up. He's one for two with an intentional walk. Madsen. 29 years old, 6'6", 200 pounds out of Long Beach, California. It's in his seventh year in the big leagues. Good cut. Count 0-2. Last year, Madsen had 10 saves when he was asked to fill in for Lidge. Went 5-5 five five with a 326 ERA. Struck out a an average of a batter an inning. To left field. Ibanez was playing deep and he's there for the out. Two down. Braves down to their last out and Troy Gloss will be the batter. Phillies bullpens only allowed two home runs in their first 37 innings. Braves have only had one hit since the fourth inning when they loaded the bases, and that was the single by McCann in the seventh. Big swing and a miss by Troy. Oh for three tonight. Need him to reach to bring Hayward to the plate and give the Braves a chance to tie it. Gloss 0 for 2 in his career against Madsen. Well hit, deep left. Back goes Abanez. That's got a chance. That's gone. Home run, Troy Gloss, 3 to 2. Did that get out of here in a hurry? Pretty much on the tee, sat back. Two run homer. Now he's going to get one more out before the heroics of Mr. Hayward come into play. Second home run for Troy. RBI is seven and eight. And you just said you don't worry about anybody except the tying run. Well, he's got something to worry about now. He does. And the more reps you've been in this situation, the more you realize that two runs kind of stings. But it's it's not put your club in a bad situation. Two outs, one out to get. You get the save. Nobody cares about it. Two, three, four, five days. Jason Hayward, 0 for 3. He's been pulling some magic out of his hat already this season. And he takes a strike. He's been doing that a lot with hit with pitchers he's not seen, of course, just to see the ball out of their hand. Very patient. Well hit, right center field. Victorino going back. He looks up. We've got a tie game. More magic from 22. Special. You ever seen anything like this? No, no. Unbelievable. Escobar first pitch swinging, backhanded by Castro. Long throw got him. But not before the Braves jump on Ryan Madsen. 
back to back homers by Troy Gloss and Jason Hayward. We're tied at three. Mercy. Thanks to the new Venture Card from Capital One, we get double miles on every purchase. So we earned a ski trip twice as fast. Nice! We get double miles every time we use our car. I'll take this. Double miles add up quick. And all of those. So we brought the whole gang. One adult, one goat, please. Yeah. It's hard to beat double miles. Everyone knows two is better than one. Introducing the Venture Card from Capital One with double miles on every purchase every day. Go to CapitalOne.com. What's in your wallet? <laughs> Oh, poor baby. KGB is a better way to answer any question. To prove it, Susan will search the web. And Jill will text KGB. The challenge, find a clown for their kid's party. Benny the Clown. Done. <laughs> so many links. I guess Biffo sounds all right. <laughs> For answers, not links, textual questions to 542-542. Well, it just continues to amaze me what this 20-year-old kid in right field is doing for the Braves. I said something about magic, pulling magic out of his hat. Troy Gloss set it up, though. Turning a fastball around to make it a 3-2 game. But this pitch to Hayward was out away from him that he shot on, John. It was. Uh, probably not as sharp of a sinker as he wanted. He painted the first pitch with it, and he went out and got it. That's the, that's the view you get as a pitcher. Get outside, you can get it, but he reaches it. And if you look back in this inning, the thing that stands out to me is the walk. You can deal with two solo home runs. That walk set up everything to even make this possible for Hayward. And... Uh, Lo and behold, we got a new game. One pitcher did not deserve a loss. He got the no decision in Tommy Hansen, and one pitcher deserved a win, and he gets a no decision in Kyle Kendrick. So let's start over. Billy Wagner gets the call to work the 10th. He's in his sixth game. No decisions, a 360 ERA. And he faces the heart of the Phillies order. Polanco, Utley, and Howard. 1-0 to Polanco. Ryan Madsen gave up two homers in the ninth. Their bullpen had only given up two on the season. 95 and that gas from Wagner. Off the thumbs. Wagner will have to make a play. He'll have to hurry. Got him. I think that was 102 miles to first place. That's how fast he threw that one. <laughs> miles per hour. And he didn't rush himself. He trusted his good arm strength here and let it fly. Easier play for a left hander. Had plenty to spare. Chase Utley, two for four. He scored a run. He's driven one in. Four for ten off of Wags. Shows you how tough he is and stays in against left-handers. One of the best left-handers in the game. And he's able to produce a 400 average at 10 at-bats. Part of that, John, I think has to go to the fact that he, he's rarely off balance. You, you rarely get him to be out on his front foot. Very short if any stride. Just lets his hands do the work. Boy, it's something for a hitter if you can really trust your hands and you don't have to get your body involved to generate your power. You can flip your hands. You can do things that a lot of hitters only wish they can do. And, and to your point, Joe, it makes him duff, doubly tough to pitch to. And then even with that short stride and powerful swing, he's hitting balls in the upper deck in Philadelphia all the time, and he sends one deep. Hayward goes back. 
short of the track. He's got room and two down. Ryan Howard's one for four with an RBI. Had a base hit off the glove of Gloss to drive in a run back in the fourth inning. Wagner pitched for the Phillies back in 2004 and 2005. Saved 21 games in 04, 38 games for them in 05. One and one. They got him from the Astros for Brandon Duckworth, Taylor Buckholz, and Ezekiel Estacio. Ezekiel Estacio. Two and one to Howard. A lot of people that drove home heard this finish yeah. on the radio. Yeah. Oops. Howard three for eleven against Wagner. Moves off that fastball three and one. Jason Worth would be next. Be careful here. Big swing and a miss. 96 on that fastball at the letters. Can you throw the ball by him up and in? Can you go upstairs it's on him? It's a very him? small window. It really is. And it's one many guys don't want to try. Lefty on lefty, maybe get away with it a little bit more. 96 put him away. Wagner gets him one, two, three. The Braves will come up in the 10th. Nate McLeod, the pitcher spot, and Matt Diaz do up. Evan Longoria, good game yesterday. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, that guy's got my cap. Longoria. Wear. Just not Evan Longoria's. New Era, the official on-field cap of Major League Baseball. Gather round, y'all. I'll sing you a song about our MVP, the amazing team mom. She rides on firestones and always comes through, even been known to fix a boo-boo or two. Firestone. From practice to the game and back again, her firestone tires are a mom's best friend. One sweet way to ride, a way at home, behind every great team. Great team moms. Firestone. Legendary drivers need legendary Firestone. tires. We go to the bottom of the tent. Braves and Phillies tied at three. Braves rallied were with three in the ninth, and the last one came from Jason Hayward again. Watch and listen. Seconds to round the bases. That's flying. That's what I like, though. Get it done. Get in your your trot. Act like you've done it before, and certainly he's approached this in a very professional way. 
Game winner Sunday, game tire on Tuesday. Both with two out in the ninth. Jose Contreras, the new pitcher for the Phillies. And Nate McLeod takes a strike. Contreras in his fifth game. Three and two thirds innings, only one hit allowed, no runs, no walks, six strikeouts. Listed at 38 years old. Has an excellent split finger pitch. He's had some arm troubles in recent years, though, and if if he can stay healthy, the Phillies will have themselves a good fight for their bullpen. Two and two. McLeod tonight, 0 for 2 with a walk. Great to have him lead off the inning by reaching. Instead, he drives one to right and deep. Work looks up. This game is over. Nate McLeod leads off the tenth with a game winner. Where is everybody? Silent treatment. They left. <laughs> Four to three and they, they left. left. Game over, team gone. <laughs> That's perfect. I've never seen that one before. That is perfect. <laughs> That's as good as it gets. Oh, that is awesome. Silent treatment on a walk off. You're not showing up the other team with any kind of actics. You're just basically <laughs> <laughs> a little private celebration. Yeah. A hanging split. He knew it as soon as he hit it. Tell you what, you can never, never take anything for granted. <laughs> Look in the background, you can see everybody already heading down the tunnel. Best part is they're planning it. They got it planned. A no doubter for the game winner. What a comeback by Atlanta. They win it four to three. And nobody in the dugout. <laughs> what a finish. Braves with only four hits.